Hey y'all, this is Dawn. Uh, there's a lot going on in this video. Initially, I wanted to try to do that TikTok chicken fries by iBrek, and I wanted to try it with mackerel because chicken's expensive even in the can, but mackerel's still really cheap. I know there's a reason for it. I can tell you now, I think I should have used two eggs and cheddar and not Colby Jack. But this is the ingredients right here. And this is what mackerel looks like. I can't really tell you what it smells like. Basically like a hot dumpster fire at a harbor. But, you know, if you grew up smelling that, you're used to it. But if not, this could be incredibly offensive. And if you've got cats, you might want to lock them up. I mushed it up. I tried to add some liquid smoke and some ground cumin. I did about two tablespoons of the ground cumin. Really, all this did is kind of balance out the fishy flavor and smell. But not, very, not entirely. But a teaspoon of pepper and some granulated Tennessee garlic. I can insert the name of your state there. If you understand, you understand. And uh, there's some jalapenos I cut up, just a few, and I probably should have added two eggs. These are fresh eggs. The chickens just laid them today. I did two big old handfuls of this Colby Jack. And uh, this does not call for breadcrumbs, so I didn't put any in there. I was thinking though, you know, I could do this with ground beef and uh, make a pretty neat meatloaf, but this does not call for breadcrumbs, right? So I did three scoops of mayo. This is for my salad dressing. See, there's a lot going on. I'm out of smoked paprika, so I ended up later adding a little organic soy sauce um, and liquid smoke, but I added some hot sauce. I know this video is going fast, but I gotta tell you, look, in this house, we do not use gloves. They freak me out. I tried adding olive oil to the bottom. These suckers still cooked right to the pan. But uh, look at that loaf action going on. I broke them up into little spheres, if you will. And then I figured out the perfect way to make them into little hanky shapes. Little Mr. Hanky shapes. Uh, th you know, this kind of looked like cat puke. I'm sorry, this is just getting really disgusting. But we were just cracking up, joking about it. And the cats were just obsessed all day with what are you doing? I did these little pat and squish, pat and squish, little loaf things. And, um, you know, uh... The whole house is just like smelled like mackerel. Yeah. And as I was doing this, I really felt like I was being stalked. I started getting kind of creeped out and um, I just really felt like I was being watched. And lo and behold, <laughs> this is why we don't eat at the table, huh? This is why we eat outside. Yes, it is. <laughs> so the chicken version calls for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, in the meantime, I forgot to record me cutting up my lemons perfectly. And here is the Thai kitchen coconut rice and the eat regal Spanish rice. I keep saying eat a beagle. And this sauce is actually a hit. It was so good. But this mustard was no. But I was impressed with the ingredients. So I wanted to try it. The ingredients were all right here. You can pause and read it. And it's just not got a whole lot in it. <laughs> eat a beagle rice. <laughs> but this stuff was good. And, uh, yeah, I was all right with the ingredients. This is dollar and a quarter tree, y'all. I mean, I was impressed. So, my lettuce had been turning brown, but we are not ninnies in this house when it comes to this. Cut up a fresh cucumber and had some cut up red bell pepper that I got in a bag for 99 cents at Kroger. My dressing was lacking as I was out of smoked paprika, so I added some soy sauce and liquid smoke. Okay, now this crap. I am so sorry. This sweet hot mustard, uh-uh. I can still taste this bad old envelope glue taste, and it's been hours later now. I'm doing the voiceover. Okay, now I'm popping the rice in the microwave, and it was 20 minutes, so I took these out, and they were stuck to the aluminum foil. But I was going to rescue them, so I carefully rescued them the best I could, and I just kind of flipped them over and put them right back on top of where they tried to die because I'm not quitting yet. I'm not ready to quit. They smelled like croquettes, so I just, you know, melted some butter and put that on the top, and I decided to put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not a quitter. Not yet. No, I just can't be. Okay, so here we go. We are going to plate this up like this. Mandy's using the sweet chili sauce and she's having the Spanish rice. I had that delicious coconut rice and that awful nasty mustard sauce. No. Um, I tried a little bit in there. Okay. It's kind of like a tiny piece without the sauce and it's really good. It's, it's kind of offensive. It's not salmon, right? When we used to make salmon croquettes, if it was salmon, it's not the chicken like in the videos. I was just curious if we could just... Huh? Can you do stuff with canned salmon? Heck yeah. I make salmon croquettes. Salmon croquettes are good, but I'm trying to see if I could do this with mackerel because I'm trying to figure out if people could have a budget friendly. They definitely did not come out crunchy. I can tell you that. I love the coconut rice. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not too coconutty. Just has a hint of it. 
Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. It's okay if you want to throw them in the garbage. No, I mean, it's, it's edible. It's edible, but they are. When you pour... It's very fishy, though. It's fishy. It's, that's what it's macros. Fishy. I mean, it is fish. I'm going to eat it. I'm not ever going to make this again. I'm going to try the salad. For the um, the sweet and sour sauce on the, it was uh, called sweet chili. I forgot what it was called. I'll put it right there. I'm really impressed with this coconut rice though. Hmm. I really like that. How do you feel about the rice? The spinach. It's pretty good. Is it something that you would want to eat again? So dollar and a quarter tree, coconut rice is good. The Spanish rice is good. The, the, your sauce is better. Um, the honey mustard, Dijon mustard thing, to me it's too bitter. And I like bitter. And um, you know, these are like, these would have been better croquettes, probably better deep fried, but not a good alternative to the chicken one because there is no way that this is anything like what the chicken things came out like. Yeah. Here's my final review. As you can tell, they all got eaten, okay? And I'm going to eat the rest of them, probably. It's in a container for later. After they rested, they had a little bit more of a crispy consistency, but not much. I time to think about it. And I was trying to figure out why do these taste kind of good and kind of not, and I can't figure it out. Well, once we added the lemon, it tasted a lot better. But these were almost like mackerel cakes, but there was no breading. And so then when I thought about it, I was like, you know, these are actually pretty good considering it's mackerel cakes without breading, you know? And the other thing I realized, I should have maybe added an egg and a half instead of one. So even though, and, and my friend doesn't do fish at all, and she ate the whole plate, and she even talked about bringing some to work. So I might have been too hard on it. I don't know. Um, definitely didn't come out like the TikTok videos of the crispy chicken tender things. But after I put all that work into it, I don't even know if I want to try that. However, the sauce, sweet chili sauce from the Dollar Tree, that stuff's pretty good. And I had some. The sweet hot mustard, it has a weird bitter after flavor and I don't like this. So I'm not even going to use this for anything else. I'm going to toss it. I might reuse the jar. This stuff was fantastic. It was lightly coconut flavored and I will definitely try this again. My friend had this kind and she said she would definitely try it again. And she's definitely taking the rest of it with her to work tonight. She's got a whole half of a bag left. So... You know, this video is what it is, and we tried something, and we're just kind of like still trying to figure out how we feel about it. But <laughs> we ate our entire plate, so there's that. Okay, now be blessed, be a blessing, blessed be, stay golden, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.